Hey, what's up, y'all? I just want to talk to y'all today about a new purchase that I just made. I actually got this for a steal of a deal off of Marketplace, off Facebook. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with Marketplace. But, yeah, man, check it out, man. They got really good deals on there if you know how to haggle and if you can spot a scammer. Because you're going to need to know how to spot scammers on Marketplace because there are a lot of them. My personal thing is I don't buy anything except if it's local or if I can meet them in person. I'm not doing no shipping or anything like that on Marketplace. Uh, if you want to do shipping on Marketplace, I know lots of people that do do it and have success with it. I myself, I'm that type of guy who just, I need to see it. I need to hold it. If it's not from a reputable Amazon store, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Anyway, so yeah. 125 bucks for this Tamron 90 millimeter macro lens. Yeah, I mean, for 125 bucks, perfect condition, nothing wrong with it at all. I actually expected something to be wrong with it because at first he had it listed for $400. Yeah, 400 bucks, right? And you know, I was like, nah, I don't really need a macro. I don't even do macro lens. Uh, I've never even shot macro before, really. So I didn't need it. But then I know after about four months, it dropped down to about $200. And I was looking at it then, like 200 bucks, right? For my Nikon Z6, right? You know, I'm like, yeah, why not, right? So I messaged him and I shot him $100, right? And then he shot back with 150. And I was like, how about 125? I'll come buy it right now. He said, deal. So I went and met him. 125 bucks. What do you guys think? I mean, it feels pretty good. It's not light. It feels put together well. It got three switches. It got a limit, a limit switch here. Can you see that? Yeah. It got a limiter, or what they call it, a distance switch, I guess. The autofocus, manual focus switch there. Uh, VC, VC on and off switch. So that's the uh, vibration reduction or whatever they call it for this one. Um, yeah, pretty good, right? Came with the lens hood, lens cap, everything good tested it out there now I don't do macro but why not do macro if I got a lens that does macro for $125 so we're gonna go out and actually test out this lens right now and I'm gonna go shoot some macro I'm gonna go to Tumwater Falls Park I go there a lot actually uh, see if we can find some bugs and some shit to look at and do some photos of that real quick so let's do that right now Actually, it worked out pretty good. Um, I will say that you will need to do manual focus sometimes. Because a lot of times it likes to hunt. Especially, I don't know if it's just the nine. The Z6 itself, the focus isn't the greatest. I have no problem with it, but it's definitely third place uh, after Nikon, and after Canon and Sony. But um, I will never stop using Nikon though, just so you know. Nikon, fanboy here. Anyway, uh, Manual focus, you gotta do that. The manual focus ring on this is actually pretty awesome. It doesn't, it's pretty good to work. It works pretty awesomely. So, uh, I did manual focus a lot, but I also uh, used autofocus. And, you know, it worked good. I ain't gonna get no complaints with the autofocus. Uh, I, and um, this is gonna also be a great portrait lens. I haven't shot no portraits with it yet myself. I did like a couple portraits of myself with it, you know, just testing it out. But, you know. I mean, I just, I think it's going to be a good portrait lens and it actually goes down to uh, 3.0. It's not 2.8. I mean, it is. It gets to 2.8 sometime, but notice that most of the time it's on 3.0 for some reason. Uh, the aperture is at 3.0 instead, so I don't know. Uh, it has get to 2.8. I think you have to be pretty far away for it to get to 2.8 though. So, subscribe. If you want to see more shots with this lens or other stuff. And uh, let me know what's going on. Peace out. Stay tuned for more shit. Because we're going to keep coming.